Yeah, we were very disappointed. Um, I felt um, we were in control pretty much most of the test match and then something brilliant took it away from us. Um, so there's areas we want to improve with this for, for this test match, but we also understand that um, there wasn't a lot of mistakes uh, made from the first games. Yes, there's area where we can be better. As we discussed already, we would have liked to put a little bit more runs on the board um, and possibly wrap up that tail a bit better. Um, but once again, you can't, take, you can't look too far into the fact that there was one really, really good innings um, that Pereira played. Um, so the guys are really motivated for this next test match. Uh, disappointing thing with a, with a short series, um, obviously only played two matches, so for us now it's um, making sure we can, as you said, square up the series. Um, yeah, obviously the two two options would be playing an extra batter at seven and, and having the three seamers with a spinner, or, or um, Bian making his debut, um, which almost a like-for-like -like play, and Fern, um, you know, bat, probably a little bit more of a batting all rounder than a batting all rounder, but yeah, those are the two options. Um, the nice thing that Vian offers you is he is actually an extra batsman. Um, so uh, he, he's just as much as any of the other two batters. Um, Vian, uh, how I see Vian playing a role for for the Proteus moving forward is a is a batting all rounder. You know, Test cricket, bat at number six or seven and be your your extra um, ten over is what you need in the field from him. Um, obviously, we've spoken about him in one day cricket as well. Um, but just going forward, I see him really featuring for us as a batting all-rounder. Um, so it's actually, a, um, I can't, you can't say it's a blessing in disguise because you're losing Vernon Filander, which is our best bowler on conditions like this. Um, but yeah, Vian is more a batter than Vern is. Obviously, Vern is, from a bowling point of view, has is, is shown what he can do. Um, but yeah, he, he does bring a lot of balance to our, to our team. Uh, and, our, and we've spoken about it even before the first test that we said that you know, moving forward with this test team, you would like someone like Vian um, featuring um, in it all the time. Um, it looks pretty normal to what it, uh, the last two year, years has looked like. Yeah, we played Australia and Sri Lanka the last two test matches. Uh, the, the grass tend to look a little bit worse uh, a day or two before the game. And then the nature of the wind, when it blows um, like a gale like it's doing today, then that it dries out very quickly. So the groundsmen tend to um, make sure they keep the most of the moisture in before before the test match, and then make a decision on the pitch the, the morning of the game. Um, but yeah, it, it looks exactly the same. Hopefully, there'll be some assistance uh, for our seamers. We know once again we're not expecting a, a wicket that's got a lot of pace and bounce. It's PE, um, so we're just hoping through that there's there's decent carry for the seamers. Uh, it does. Um, I think for, if we were sitting here and you know we had Vernon. Dale and KG as your, your three seam attack. I think it would possibly be easier to lean towards the three of them to, to, to do the bulk of the bowling work because they have done it um, from a three point attack. They have done it for a long period of time where they've been the three seamers with a spinner. Um, obviously, Vern is out now, so uh, it's not that Duan can't do that, but obviously he's still pretty new into, into our attack. Um, so that makes you consider having an extra bit of um, bowling depth in your bowling attack and as I said the nice thing with Vianney also offers you just as much in the batting department so I would assume that you know from a balance point of view we we'll probably lean towards that more than anything else. Yeah we're very proud of our record yeah we've I mean we've we've, we've made sure that we've made our home a fortress uh, we've played some excellent cricket uh, for the last two years or so um, and as I said I don't feel we had we played a bad game of cricket against Sri Lanka um, they were just for a period of the game they had some excellent performances. Um, so we understand now that we need to be better to beat them. Um, surprised us in a, in a way that obviously they played really well uh, on the pitch that, was, uh, that they played on there. Um, hopefully, yeah, there will be a little bit more sideways moving off the deck. Um, Durban tend to not have a lot of that. And historically, it's also proven that uh, Kingsmead is always a fifer for the spinning opposition coming there. Um, so hopefully, yeah, although it's still another venue, uh, venue where a spinner does play a role, hopefully uh, not, not too much of this game. Yeah, that's the nature of international cricket. I find that happens a lot. Uh, if you play teams and you play bowlers the, the first time, there's always an element of the unknown and a surprise factor where it takes you to get used to them. Um, but that's, that happens a lot. Uh, and, and obviously with that, those guys 
generally tend to do well. Um, you know, whether you call it the first year syndrome, whether a lot of guys come in and they do well at test cricket, it's because opposition don't know them as well as as they should yet. Um, and that's from a batting point of view as well. You, you know, you set plans for bowlers, but it's difficult to, you need to play against batters all the time to make good plans against them. Um, so, yeah, obviously playing against them now, there'll be, there was already a bit of chat um, just to make sure that we, we play the, the new guys better.